Hey everyone, this is my February and March 2024 Hololive Goods Haul match. But as you can see here, there are a lot of acrylic stands. There are other goods that I got as well, but I can't fit it on the screen, so I'll show it to you guys later. But yeah, without any further ado, let me get to unpacking them. I bought these in Animate, and I saw them when I was lining up. These are the only two that are my Oshis, and that are left, so I just picked them up. These two are both acrylic stands for Nene. This is from the, I guess what we call the Ichiban Kuchi, which is like a lottery draw you could do. And yeah, it's a little chibi Nenechi. And this is from the Sushi Collab with Negiyu, which contains Subaru, Nene, and Aqua. They did some anime songs, and yeah, in general, I just really like this group because two of my best Oshis, my favorite Oshis are in the group, and I really love the style of their songs. It's like really hyper, happy songs. Yeah, I just really like, like this group. If I remember, this is like a special sushi set you could get in the what they call Kappa Sushi, which is the sushi shop. And yeah, I think if I remember, it's 3000 yen and you get like six sashimi sushi. And yeah, it comes with like one of three random acrylic stands. And yeah, the other two being Subaru and Aqua. I've been looking at this acrylic stand for a while now and I saw it for 2000. And yeah, the online shops I was checking also sells for around 2000 so I just thought I would just buy it in person. I'll still be keeping an eye out for Subaru, so yeah. Hoping to get her soon. So this series is the Blue Journey outfit set, and I just picked out the three Yoshis that's in the group. So yeah, let me just unpack them. Yeah, without the little protector, this is what they look like. And this is the acrylic stand from the Hoshimatic project. And I got three of my Oshis in here. Originally, I was gonna get five or six if I remember, but this acrylic stand is like 2,000 each I think almost 2,000 each so I had to hold back on what well, like I think two two or three of them but yeah this is like a little special acrylic stand which you can hang the legs at the edge of the table and yeah you know I have to get Subaru and I have to get Nene and Sakamata is also my Oshi so these are the three I got So the last set is the A Fun Day Out series, and it's with the Shirakin. Now be completely honest, none of them are my main Oshis, but the thing is with this outfit, I really love casual outfits for anything, and I just really wanted them. Honestly, I love all their outfits. It's all so unique and so fashionable. So yeah, really like them. I'll, I'll show you what they look like without the bubble wrap. From series one, we got Suisei. Here's a close up. Also from volume one, we got Miko. So we got the Miko Met set for the first volume. And the remaining three are from the volume two. And we got Flare here. Got polka. And lastly, we got Noel here. Honestly, I thought really hard about this series. I originally wanted to save money and not get it, but in the end, I just really wanted this series. I hope they actually produce the acrylic stand for every single member in Hololife for this. 
because I think I'll definitely try to get them if I can. Here's the Lamy doll I got from the Friends series. And with the addition of Lamy, I have completed the Friends series for myself for the moment. I got all six of my Oshis. And yeah, I couldn't find her in the Tokyo shop when it was open, like the temporary Tokyo Hall Live shop. For some reason it was sold out, but they happened to have it in the online shop when I checked again. And yeah, I just snagged one and yeah, finally completed the series. So here I got the three packs of the Blue Journey Aurora clear card, which is just like a little card gacha you could do. Each pack costs 220 yen each after tax. And yeah, there are 35 different kinds inside. There's also another design for the card where the members are grouped up together based on the songs that they sang together. So yeah, let me see what I get from them. I have six chances. And for me personally, I'm hoping for Subaru, and Sakamata, and Lamy from the single members. And for the group shots, I think I want the Aqua, Kanata, and Lamy song one. We got a Fubuki here. And we got Polka. So I think the Aurora just means it's a holographic card. Yeah, it looks pretty nice actually. And they're clear cards, so they're not they're not paper. Yeah, pretty nice cards. got Mario in and got Korone. This is probably a really popular one that a lot of people want. But yeah, we'll put them aside and we'll try the last pack. Noel and oh we got the group one. The Mio Okayu and Ryu one. I forgot the song name, but I think I like that song. It's like Natsu something something something. I can't remember the title. But yeah, at least we got a group one, right? So after taking a closer look, they have like numbers in the corner here, so yeah, you could like put them in order. And honestly, I said it before, but the cards actually are really nice. Maybe someday I'll collect the ones with my Oshi on it. But yeah, it's definitely intriguing to see if I want to collect them because it's actually pretty good quality and it's not... It's only 220 yen each and yeah, it's pretty reasonably priced. So here I got a little batch of mail goods. I bought this, I think these four items, I bought it the day before they took it off the official shop, which is last day of January if I remember. And I got this from K-Books for 1100 yen. I think like they used to be like 7800, 7800 yen-ish. But after the announcement, it skyrocketed up to like 2, 3k. And then I think after a month, it came down again. So I decided to pick one up as well. And yeah, it was only for 1100 in K-Books. Right, let's get the small items out of the way first and we'll get to the figure. So the clear file is just a clear file. I really like the pose. She's really adorable. And yeah, it's just a regular clear file. I don't think I'll use it. I'll just keep it. Next up, we got a little key holder here. And it's the default pose for mail. And here we just got a little pass case. So you can put your train pass in here. Yeah, let me just take it out actually. So yeah, here's a little pass case, and I'll just use like a, the Blue Journey card for example, and you could put your train pass in here. Yeah, behind here is a little sticker patch, you could peel it off and just stick it on your phone case. I don't think anyone would stick it on their phone directly, but if you want to do that, you could do that. But yeah, it's in Japan we use the trains a lot, so 
if you just have it on the back of your phone go through the gate you just tap it and yeah it's really convenient not sure if i'll use it since i'm not sure if i'll be changing phones soon but i'll think about it here we got a little male tapestry it's a small tapestry but i wanted to get one just to commemorate it maybe i'll display it in my in my workplace oh yeah Oops. Pretty small for a wall scroll tapestry. Oh yeah, it's male again. Yeah, as for the figure, I got it second hand, so yeah, let me just open it up. Here's the outside of the box. the Relax Time series, which is a price figure. I've always been really hesitant about getting this figure since I wanted to wait for a higher quality version, but we know that there won't be any more male figures coming out, so I just wanted to grab one. But yeah, let me just open the inside. Finally got it open, but I couldn't open it without damaging the little tab here. But you know what, it's a price figure, so can't really help it. Because it's a price figure, the box, I guess like the protection for the box is pretty low quality. So nothing too special inside. I didn't know she comes apart. Yeah, let me just put her together. force my way in a little bit it's not really completely connected but I think that'll have to do put on the head and yeah we got mail here honestly it smells horrible but honestly I think the face is actually pretty nice for a price figure love her pose little kapu kapu claw thingy yeah that smell so I picked up three more of my Oshi's Ichiban Kuji visual board posters here first I got the Subaru one for 1650 yen at K books and next I got the Nenechi one for 1100 yen at Rashinban and lastly, I got the Rami one from Surugaya for 1,000 yen. Yeah, these are all secondhand, and they're all from the Ichiban Kuji Lottery Gachapo thing that happened throughout last year. There was like four parts to this. Yeah, this is the top price, and which is the visual poster board, and it's pretty big. But since it's not, not gonna fit in the frame, if I put it sideways, it looks like this. Yeah, but I talked more about it in details in my previous video going over the overview of the Ichiban Kuji, so if you're interested, please check that out. I also picked up some doujin books from the original creator and the character designers for some of the Hololife talents. I think the majority, except for maybe one or two, are all like part of the character designer and the what, what they call mama of the talents in Hololife. So we got Shigure Ii, which is Subaru's mom, Oshio Oshio, Kanata's mom, Inamura Haruki, which is Matsuri's mom. We got the animation director for Shinkiro Envy, Nagashiro Mito, which is Fubuki's mom. We got Watao, which is Noel's mom. We got Akasaka Ai, which is Marine's mom. And we got Guchiko, Aloe's mom. And we got Ayami, which is Mel's mom. And lastly, we got Rin Yu, which is Lami's mom. So here I got a magazine, and it's the Pesh April 2024 edition. So this is a special cover. So usually magazines for each month, they'll have like a theme for the upcoming releases. And for this month, for this magazine, it is the Suisei Shion Honeyworks cover. 
And yeah, this is a novelty that I got. So the magazine itself costs it 1300 yen before shipping. And I bought it from Tsutaya, which is like a video rental store. They also sell like CDs and stuff. So kind of like a media store. And yeah, only the Tsutaya comes with a little novelty, which is a postcard of the same design as the magazine. And it's just a regular postcard. But it's first come first serve, so if it runs out, you're out of luck. And this is only available if you purchase it from Tsutaya. So this is the magazine itself, and it comes with a little clear file of the back cover, which is not Hololive related. I don't know what this is, but it comes with this. As well as a A1 size poster of the Shion and Suisei cover. And I can't fit everything on the screen, but it's really big. It's just a folded up poster. And yeah, you could display it if you want. It's really big. Yeah, I'm, pr I'm pretty sure the back side is just the two dudes again. Yeah. Yeah, it's a double sided poster, but for me, I will probably just keep it. Maybe if I have a wall big enough, I could put it up. But yeah. But I really like the cover. I love the Honeyworks uniform. And yeah, that's why I wanted to buy one as a commemorative magazine. Yeah, there isn't really like too much in the magazine about Hall Life, but there's like a small section with like interviews and stuff. So yeah, if you're interested, you could probably pick it up in bookstores. But yeah, it should be pretty easy to find if you come around like March, April period. Maybe May. They might not have it in stock in May anymore. But yeah, just look for any like bookstores or like anime goods related shops. Some people also buy the magazines for the novelty, so maybe you could find the magazines in the secondhand shop. But for this one, there's only this one novelty, so the chances are there might not be any secondhand ones. Because there's no need to buy like multiple ones just to collect the novelties. But yeah, maybe if you can't find it in the regular shop, you could try to see if they have it in the secondhand shop. So this past month, I've also visited a lot of the game centers in Japan. And yeah, they have these claw machines and the prizes are like random in terms of like the stores may provide different things. And yeah, I found some Hololive claw machines. And this is the Hololive Fuakorodin series, which is like a little plushy key, key holder thing. And yeah, there are like five so far, I think. And yeah, I managed to get this as well. I just call it Fat Lamy. It's really cute. It's pretty big too. Yeah, it's adorable. Also from the claw machine, I also got these Hall Life plushy key holders. Yeah, this is the Hall Life Tete Kore series, which is also the same as the previous one. And yeah, it's, I think there are also five right now. And yeah, these are just plushies where you can make their hands hold together and then you can create a huge chain if you want. So yeah, I just put their hands together. Yeah, it just looks like they're holding hands. But yeah, there's like a little button as well as like a little hook thingy here. Just let me just take it out. Yeah, basically you could like connect them together and it looks like they're holding hands and you could connect as many as you want the Tete Kore series as well is also a random gacha box thing so I said there are five series and I think each one has seven different kinds or like seven different members and yeah you basically have to pull them but yeah the some of the arcades I visited they have they just put them out on the I guess like the machine and then yeah you could like play the claw machine and yeah choose whatever you want to get if you're good at the claw machine it's probably easier to get it this way but if you don't want to risk like not getting anything probably getting it secondhand or getting it from the random gacha boxes would be best but yeah, these are super adorable too and I kind of want to collect more of them 
I tried to get the male one, but I just had no luck. I just couldn't get it. But yeah, these are the Pepe Color series. So another prize that I got from the claw machines is the Donchan muffler for Pecora, which is her, I guess like her pet, her pet muffler thing. Apparently it's alive, I'm not too sure, but yeah, if you want to use it as like an actual scarf or muffler, I think you could do that. But it's just like, do you want this hanging on your head when you go out? It's pretty nice, honestly. There's like the little sticky pad thing here, I'm not sure what it's called. But you could do it with that, or I think you could like put it through the hole here. Either way works. Yeah, got a don't chunk here. I think it took me about 1100, 1200 yen to get this from the machine. I tried it previously on another machine, but I just couldn't get it from that. So when I went to another location and I found this again, I tried it. it the machine looks easier to, to get, like the claw machine. So I just got it from there and I got, managed to get it within like 1200 yen, I think. So yeah, it's pretty nice. I also saw there was like a little random whole life gacha box thing. It's like a store Stormate Gacha, which like they have the capsule machines and I think it's 500 per draw and there are four tiers of prizes and yeah, I didn't manage to get anything good in two tries. This is the lowest tier, so it's just cards. I think the highest tier gives you like figures, I'm pretty sure. And yeah, just like miscellaneous goods. But yeah, I don't think it's worth it, but I just got some cards from the Gacha machine. So here I got the official Hololife Big Window Bag. This bag costed 8,360 yen, and honestly, it's a lot bigger than I expected it. So this bag is basically just a normal backpack, but with like a little window here, so you can like display your Oshi's goods, things like that, in this little window right here. And before they released this bag, I was actually looking online to see if I could buy one, so I could like bring it to the expo. But they just happened to release it like a month before, I think. And yeah, that's why I thought it was the perfect opportunity. So I bought one. So yeah, let me just open it up. So here's the bag itself. It's a... The shoulder kind. The quality honestly seems a lot higher than the... Like the collide bags most companies do for their goods. It's definitely not on par with like the high-end brand even though it's for sale for 8,000 yen but it's definitely better than most bags that I bought that's like a sort of like a collab goods for like groups that I follow and yeah you can see like here we got the little window here you could open it up in the website they just like they use like plushies like the whole life plushies and they display it here it's actually quite deep and you could yeah, definitely fit a plushie in here, maybe two. But yeah, let me just get like two plushies so to see if we could fit it in here. And yeah, you could definitely fit two plushies in here. I think they also show like acrylic stands and like little goods here as well. Like a plushie and an acrylic stand. So you could like put whatever you want in here. But you could definitely fit more than like two plushies worth of size. So yeah, let's take a look at the other parts. Here you got a little cover logo. And it's just a zipper. You got hollow light on the inside. I believe you could take this off as well and you could put like your business card. But I'm trying to figure out how you could take it off. Okay, so I found it. You you don't need to take it off. It's just like a little pocket here and you could just put like a card in there. So for example, just grab something nearby. I used this little bay card from the Honeyworks collab. Yeah, you could do something like that. So, so it's pretty nice. 
I know like some people who are really into like the producer stuff, they have like their own name card and like their own business card. So maybe like that's something like you could do with that. But yeah, up here it's just a little small pocket for like pens, tissue paper, things like that. You could take this off as well, the plastic. I think in the demo they hung something here, like an acrylic stand or something. So you could do something with this. On the side here you got a water bottle holder. Actually both sides, you could put water bottle on both sides. Yeah, let's get to the, the biggest compartment. So this is what it looks like on the inside after fitting two plushies. So if you fit two plushies in here, you're definitely going to have less room to put stuff in here. You got like a little laptop compartment or books that if you want. And yeah, that's pretty much the bag. The strap is adjustable to whatever size you want to adjust to. And yeah, personally, I haven't really used it yet, but from the looks of it, I would definitely recommend getting this if you're looking into getting one of the window bags. I think on Amazon, I saw it's like, these big ones cost a lot more if I remember, even though the quality for the bag is not really like super high, but it's better than most collab bags that I've bought before. At the moment, I would definitely suggest getting one if you are interested in yeah, showing off your Oshi in like an event or something. Thank you again for watching. Sorry this video came out a little bit late. It's just like at work, the deadlines were piling up this week so I couldn't really get to filming and editing much until the weekend. And like always, if you enjoyed the video and want to see more Hololive related content, I'd greatly appreciate it if you could hit the subscribe button. If you'd like to check out similar unboxing videos, I've created a playlist that I'll link down in the description below. I'll also link any other related stuff down in the description below as well. Thank you again for watching and I hope you have a wonderful day!